As far as I know, it's no secret that EVE Online is still the most played space MMO in existence. The heart of the game is its hundreds of different types of spaceships that the players can potentially use. You can see here that I'm floating outside the biggest trade hub station in the game, Jita 44. So what we're going to do is identify and summarize lots of ships in this area within a comfortable amount of time. I was going to do about 70 ships, but I did not talk fast enough to make a short video with that many ships. Perhaps in a follow-up video, I will ID more. But let's get started, shall we? This is an Anathema. It's an Amar Covert Ops frigate. This thing is great for stealthy recon as it can warp while cloaked. It has bonuses for hacking and scanning with scan probes. The Orca, considered a capital ship, it is a mining command ship built by Outer Ring Excavations. This ship provides boosts and bonuses to other ships mining in its vicinity. It is also capable of carrying other ships, kind of like a small carrier. Rhea, a massive freighter called a jump freighter. These pricey ships are capable of jumping through space with their own jump drives without the use of gates, as long as they can lock onto a sinosaural field generated by another ship that is not in high sec. Buzzard, Caldera Covert Ops Frigate. Just like the Anathema, it has bonuses for scanning and hacking, and with the Covert Ops Cloak, it can warp while cloaked. Gnosis, Society of Conscious Thought Battle Cruiser. These weird ships are sometimes gifted as parts of login campaigns and such. They are a very versatile battle cruiser with a large drone bay and can easily use a variety of different weapons. The Velader, the Galente Corvette or Rookie Ship. This is a ship that comes for free when you first start the game. Provenance, Freighter. Freighters are considered capital ships and the Provenance is the Amar version of the freighter. It has a massive cargo hold and can be seen traveling the trade routes between the major trade hubs. Monitor, a flag command cruiser based on the Enforcer hull. Originally built by Concord, these were developed with a nod and a wink for fleet commanders. They can tank massive amounts of damage. Svipel, Mimitar Tactical Destroyer. Svipels are mean little destroyers and their tactical destroyer nature allows them to change shape depending on whether they need a defensive, offensive, or speed bonus. Tangu, Caldera Strategic Cruiser. Strategic cruisers are refit with a number of different modules and are probably the most versatile cruisers in the game. Tangus tend towards missiles and shield tank. Procurer, Mining Barge. Procurers are among the toughest mining barges in the game and fairly easy to start mining in. Drake, Caldera Combat Battle Cruiser. The infamous Drake used to be a popular option for fleets as a doctrine in Nullsec and other large alliances, but today they are more of a meme. Can I bring a Drake? Prophecy, Amar Combat Battle Cruiser. This fat ship is really great at tanking. It doesn't really care what kind of turrets it uses, but it does specialize in drone use more than turret use. Brudix, Galente Combat Battle Cruiser. The Brudix loves to use blasters up close. For fleets, they can use railguns at a distance. This intimidating ship is a favorite among PvPers. Ibis, Caldera Corvette. This is another rookie ship. This is a free ship you get with the game when you start out as a Caldera. Sigil, Amar Transport or Hauler. This is a very basic hauler with no particular outstanding features other than it's easy for transporting small amounts of items between trade hubs or wherever you need to go. Amar Shuttle. Shuttles don't do much other than transport you around. They are swift and have high warp speed. Bowhead. Like the Orca, the Bowhead can transport assembled ships, only it can carry a lot more and has no mining bonuses. Kikamora, Triglavian Destroyer. The Kikamora is fast and can project damage from a very long range. It is pricier than other destroyers, but it's an extremely good combat ship. Reef, Minmatar Transport Ship. Very much like the Sigil, this ship doesn't have any outstanding features other than a large cargo bay to help move stuff around. Tempest Fleet Issue. Unlike the standard Tempest, which is a Minmatar battleship, the Tempest Fleet Issue is an even stronger Minmatar battleship specializing in turrets. It is an excellent combat ship for both PvE and PvP use. The Vedmac. Triglavian Cruiser. Vedmacs are very versatile, they're capable of remote armor repairs, fairly fast, and fairly good at projecting damage over a longer distance, although they are much pricier than the standard cruisers. Terra, Caldera Transport or Hauler. Very much like the Sigil and the other Hauler ships, this is designed only to carry stuff around and doesn't have many other distinguishing features. Badger. The Badger is another Caldari Hauler, but capable of carrying a little more with a little bit more tank. 
but not much more. Merlin, Caldari Combat Frigate. These mean little frigates specialize in using blasters and occasionally railguns. They're a popular throwaway PvP ship. Victoriu Luxury Yacht. These are not much more useful than a shuttle, slightly better cargo capacity, but they also can run a covert ops cloaking device, which allows them to warp while cloaked. Praxis, Society of Conscious Thought battleship. The Praxis is a very versatile battleship with the ability to use a variety of weapons and a fairly generous combat drone bay. They are popular for both PvE and PvP. Retriever Mining Barge. Retrievers are among the most popular mining barges in the game. They are also sometimes easy prey for gankers, so be careful. Hoarder. The Hoarder is a special Mimitar transport that is capable of carrying a massive amount of consumables such as charges, ammo, boosters, and things of this nature. Algos. Galente Destroyer. This is a very popular destroyer that specializes in combat drones. It is great for both PvE and PvP. Exacrer. Galente Cruiser that can heal armor. The Exacrer is a very popular low-tech option for remote reps with bonuses for armor. Some of these in your fleet can greatly enhance the fleet's survivability. Slasher, Minmatar Attack Frigate. This is an extremely fast ship with bonuses for autocannons. It is designed to run targets down and grab them. Gila, Garista's Pirate Cruiser. The Gila uses the same hull as the MOA, but the Gila is a great PvE and PvP ship specializing in both drones and missiles. A very popular ship. All right, I'm ending the ship identification portion of this video here, but wait, 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 before you go, first be sure to like and subscribe, but also, I have a second channel I've neglected for a while because of my OCD perfectionism and camera shyness. It's called Light Warriors, and you can see here I'm doing a dual saber spinning tutorial. Please feel free to go and check that out, and if you're into lightsabers and Star Wars and fitness, um, maybe you could subscribe there as well. Regarding the ships here, I have another video queued up with more ships, so feel free to comment about that in the comments. Did your favorite ship show up here? Let us know.